Hello everyone, it's me Matt. Really appreciate you stopping by on today's video. Armored fighting vehicles, inherently quite dangerous in what they do, but sometimes accidents can happen in normal operating conditions or training. And unfortunately, there was a situation that just recently occurred that involved an Israeli Makaba trying to get unloaded onto the back of a flat deck of a tank transporter. And luckily in this particular accident, no one was hurt um, and no one was injured. Uh, very scary stuff when you watch something like this. I can say personally, from experience of loading myself and my armored vehicles onto the back of rail flats or onto tank transporters, it's pretty scary stuff. You're working with inches to load these vehicles onto very heavy bits of equipment. Uh, a lot of tonnage that can go very, very wrong very quickly. Lots of misinformation and sh different information going around with this particular situation right now. Uh, from what's been said, uh, the vehicle, when it did roll, um, you know, the crew wasn't her, which is good, the driver. Uh, apparently, when the driver came to the in-the-sky point, which is basically the time in which you don't see your ground guide and you're kind of pointing into the sky, the way in which you're angled onto the rail flat or onto the tank transporter, you can't see anything. And apparently, from what they're saying, is that the gas pedal got stuck. Um, it's a very weird situation. You would never, ever normally see, uh, you know, a tank accelerating like you would in this particular video that I'm about to show you. Um, but it's scary stuff. It just shows you how quickly things can go wrong when, you know, something goes awry or you're not paying attention. So another quick reminder to you folks, especially those who are operating on fighting vehicles, take it easy, take it slow, take it steady. And I'm really glad no one got hurt in this situation. It does give you a little bit of reflection too as to, you know, what happens when this does happen? And you'll see in this situation, the other people around, for the most part, are just like, what's going on? What do we do? Uh, this is a time where you have to act quickly. Uh, I've been in an upside down vehicle. I have rolled in a Warrior 512. It is a scary situation. Luckily, I was not the driver. Um, very dangerous stuff. So please, guys, if you're part of armored fighting vehicle crews, remember to understand your you know, escape procedures, what happens if you do overturn or roll because I've been there and I feel what this driver is probably feeling. It's terrifying. It's almost like the engine runs away in this video, you'll see in a second, but I think that's that gas pedal getting stuck, which something isn't quite right there. And it's almost as if the engine chokes itself out because it's upside down after it gets to a high revolution point. I just can't take it anymore and shuts down. But uh, let's take a look at the video and see what you think. Give! 